Now we will look at some examples and I'll make some comments on these examples as we go. First is just a very straightforward use of the definition of the tangent of an angle. We're given angle theta in this right triangle and we're told to find the tangent of theta. Well the tangent of theta is always the opposite over the adjacent. So angle theta is down here. So if we start at that angle and go across we get to this side. So the opposite is 6.3 and then these two sides are both next to angle theta but this one has a name that's the hypotenuse so this is the adjacent so the tangent of theta is the opposite over the adjacent so in this case it's just 6.3 over 4.5 and you can work that out or you can pull out the calculator and uh, just do uh, let's see 6.3 divided by 4.5 that comes out to 1.4 so the tangent of theta in this case is 1.4. Pretty easy. Okay, next example, look at this. Same thing, but we have some different values. The tangent of theta will be the side opposite angle theta, that's 2.75, divided by the side adjacent to angle theta, that's 9.02. So the tangent of theta is 2.75 divided by 9.02 and I certainly can't do that in my head so let's uh, pull up the calculator again 2.75 divided by 9.02 and hit enter and we get 0.304878048 okay uh, that gives us a lot of digits I'm gonna round the answer to 0 0.305 I'm gonna say the tangent of theta here is 0 0.305 now in science class, for example, in the physics class, we cover some specific rules for how many digits you should round to. There are situations in which some rounding is more appropriate than others, and it depends on how many digits you have here. And just, just for now, note that we have three digits of accuracy in each of the given numbers, so it makes sense to round to three digits here, especially if these were measured values. I'm not going to go in all the rules, go into all the rules right now for how much rounding is appropriate, but just understand that we have limited accuracy in our given information, so it makes sense to have a corresponding degree of limited accuracy in our answer. So in most of the problems that we do in, in the, these lessons, I'm going to round the values of the trig functions to three or four decimal places, and measurements of length and measurements of angles will usually be rounded to around two decimal places or so, unless something else is appropriate. And in a science class, in physics or chemistry, you would probably go into, or you would certainly go into more detail on how much rounding you should do in calculations. As a general rule, you don't need to give 10 or 20 digits if your calculator is, is giving you all of those digits. You don't need to record all of those. Round in a way that seems appropriate. Okay, one more example here. Find the tangent of theta. Okay, in this case, the triangle is uh, turned a different way. All the triangles we, we've looked at so far were, were situated as if they were resting on one of the legs, one of the short sides. This one is sitting here as if it is sitting on the tabletop on the hypotenuse. That's the hypotenuse of this right triangle. There's the right angle. And we're told to find the tangent of theta. Okay, well, tangent of theta is still the opposite over the adjacent. Regardless of how the triangle is oriented, in your diagram. So here's angle theta. The side that is opposite theta is 2.82 and the side that is the adjacent is 4.71. So 2.82 divided by 4.71 you do that on the calculator and you get 0 0.599.